It's a fungal infection that easily infects UP dogs. But most pet owners do not even know it exists. It's called blastomycosis, and tonight Christy Mengi is hoping others can learn from her dog's tragedy. They're exposed by breathing in the fungal spores, which are just in the environment. So you don't really know that your dog got exposed. That's exactly what happened to Myra, a one-year-old bulldog from Lantz. It all started on August 13th after Christy's husband gave Myra a bath. To me, she started acting funny. She was like shaking and just not, not herself, kind of lethargic. And the next day, I'm like, all right, something just isn't right. She's coughing. She's kind of wheezing a little bit. Myra also had a fever. After x-rays and a doctor's visit, she was diagnosed with pneumonia. She spent the night at the animal hospital and came home with medication, but she just wasn't getting better. So on Monday, Myra went back to the vet and the doctor ran more tests. The x-ray showed that it was much worse. It had spread throughout her lungs. At this point, that's when they wanted to test for blasto. Even before the results came back, they started medication for blastomycosis. And in the morning, the vet recommended Christy take Myra to the Animal Medical Center in Appleton, Wisconsin, because she needed oxygen. And by the time my husband got her to Appleton, he called me and said she's just gasping for air. And even with treatment, Myra's condition did not improve. She passed the next day, leaving her family heartbroken, but determined to spread the word, sharing a warning to UP dog owners with this Facebook post. Because Myra's case is not an uncommon disease for dogs in our region. The fungus is found near water in swampy soil. We tend to see it up in Big Bay near Lake Independence. We've had some dogs that hike a lot along the Dead River Basin or the Forestville Trails. And then northern Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, we just have the spores around. It's part of our natural environment. It's also found in the ground where there's been recent construction, causing the spores to become airborne. Doctors say blastomycosis used to be difficult to diagnose, but there is good news for pet owners tonight. In the past few years, there's been a really easy urine test that has come out, so we're able to get to the diagnosis much quicker. On the other hand, blastomycosis needs to be treated for long periods of time, and the drugs are expensive. And then the unfortunate thing is, especially the dogs that are really sick with respiratory disease, as you start to treat them and you start to kill off the fungus, some dogs have a really inflammatory reaction to that dead fungus that you're treating in their lungs. Since it's impossible to keep a dog inside at all times, how can UP pet owners prevent this disease? I think the best thing to do is just be aware that blastos out there. And if your dog has any symptoms that you're concerned about, don't wait to have them seen. Doctors tonight also point out symptoms can take anywhere from 5 to 12 weeks to actually show up in your dog. So if you see signs of respiratory trouble or any kind of skin lesion, it's best to get your pet to the vet ASAP. And uh, Greg, I just want to thank viewers like Chrissy for actually sharing their story because I've never heard of this and I've been a pet owner my whole life. It's kind of scary. You have to look out for something and protect yourself from something yeah. you can't even see. Also true.